Okay, everyone. So here is I have entered my spam dashboard. So here also here is it. Uh, and then I uh, what well, if you just in first to enter the spam, uh, you can create your account, sign in, log in, then you enter this dashboard, and then you can click the new file. Make new file spam. Spine has done for all. So this is first screen. Just click on the background. On screen will disappear. So here's it. So in here, this is the um, file spine. So so after in spine. Um, in the first, we have one rectangle here, but this is just 2D. So you can just select the rectangle and delete it. So after that, uh, here is your spline spine file. In here, in here you can select you want to see from the perspective or orthographic. There is a difference between these two. So let's get into the tutorials. So the first. In here, in the toolbar, in the top of our screens, there's a toolbar, and in the toolbar, take a cube with this logo. Okay, and wait, wait, wait. Okay, come back, take a cube, and hold shift. While hold shift, drag, click, and drag, drag your cursor to any, anything, to anywhere okay until it makes a cube like this okay then line it to the centers you can also reset your view like this this is uh, our first cube so after that click the cube in the right panel there is a lot of like like some preferences that we can change from shape and trail visibility shadow and others and uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to go to the shapes shapes panel here and then decrease the corner value the corner side also and after that uh, in the shape click the smooth and add it and make the sub subdivision modifier level from 1 to be 5 okay okay so this is our ellipse but this ellipse was made by a cube so we have use the subdivision modifier okay after that added mass again so we will make the body of the bubble first so the first if you uh, enter the edit mask mode, the toolbar will your tool toolbar in the top will update it to the mesh tool that you can use for editing the mesh or nothing or anything. So like here in here, I have uh, some of tools that I can use, but the first tool I, uh, we have to use is the loop cut tool. For the shortcut is C. You can click the C. And the and loop loop cut is used for divide divide uh, the main gravity of that object. Like this, I will show you. It will it more easier if I show like this. So so uh, you can cut horizontally or vertically. So you have to cut it horizontally, and after that it will make the the ellipse 
have another another edge after that you can drag and drop the edge that just you cut like this and the shape will change okay so drag it until uh, this button so this is our loop cut edge and this is the uh, the recent edge the, the start edge that has in this shape okay after that uh, you have to cut again in the centers horizontally and then drag it to the top right here okay just like that and after that this is the loop cut tools then we have to select the V using shortcut it for access the vertex tool so vertex tool is used for access the point right here so in the edge of uh, the line there is uh, like a dot that we can click and we can click it here just like this and then if we drag if we drag it wait there is one okay and if we drag it okay so the tall will increase to right here so I will reset this one it depends on you the tall of the buckles that you want for me uh, I prefer to make it like this okay after that in here this is the body of the battles we have to make uh, the top edge in here this is a little bit more corner we have to make it sharper so uh, we can get into the next tool that is inset you can use a for the shortcut inset and after that click uh these layers and then uh and then after that we do it yes after that you can click in this blue dot then you can rock it to move and we okay like this so it becomes not round again and it was sharp for the bottom part, for the bottom side, um, we, we, we don't have to do it like the top side. Just like this. After that, this is the body of the bottles. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I just make the bottle, the body of the bottles for like making the place of water inside of this. You can, I uh, will give it another, in another part of the tutorial. So, uh, after that in the material in the right panel again in the material in there is lighting and color and you can add another layer too in here you can add another layer too but you just need these two layers so you can change the color here change the color I want a black like this so after that let's make a new part wait I forget oh yes no 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 let's make okay so if this is we still in the edit mesh mode so if you want to uh, you want to out from the exit the modeling mode you can click this one click and then you will exit the modeling mode after that click click uh, the shape and then uh, use your control D shortcuts in your keyboard and it will duplicate to be another layer okay after that after that after duplicate a new layer change the color to something different like this change the color to be more wider okay after that uh, enter your edit mesh under the uh, modeling mode again and after that after entering the modeling mode 
click on right here click right here wait it did wait it did uh we have to make it more more topper okay after like this enter the modeling mode and using the vertex tools v for the shortcut and then select all of the all of all of the side in the bottoms and drag it to the top right here right here okay just read okay okay after the exit the modeling mode and align it align it uh top into above the body like here and wait oh i forget before we align it to the top of the body we have to make the round side in this uh in this bottom side become sharper for the uh for the back oh, oh yeah so this is the this is the not this is the second part of the battle that is the battle have the cap so the cap this is like the cap yes this is the head after that uh, for edit cap edit mesh enter the modeling mode and then after that use the inset tools using inset tools then make it more sharpen using this blue dot okay uh, okay after that align it uh, align it to the above to above the main body after that we'll add add some evac here so wait before don't align it first oh i know you you can hide the but the top part first after that we'll make like a little wave in here in here so it will round the top of the body part the first part so let's get into the edit mesh the modeling mode and then uh take the loop cut and make it horizontally again and line it here and then click the inset and then click in the in the red dot or the green dot but don't forget to hold shift wait like this and after that show our another body again so like this this is uh this is like the patterns just do some for decorations and after that uh we have to make the cap of the buckles so this is the body this is the body okay after that what we have to do is make Wait, 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 my camera, camera, I change it to be perspective, I think. Okay, so for the first, in this cube 2, uh, enter the, adding, the modeling mode, and after that, click the inset, using insets, click the top sides of the shape, and drag it to approve. And don't forget in here, there is red dot uh, using hold your shift and drag it to the center and the blue dot wait 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 a little bit forget about the way okay the modeling here okay and then make the shape here so like the full shape here
Oke. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. After like this. Oke, okay, we will back to to the first. So this is the inset. Let's make it like this. Make it like this. And after that like this. here so you can make like this after that we'll add we will add the cap that we can spin so for do that it easy yeah you can make a cube you can make a cube again you can make a cube you can make a cube again like here you can make a cube again make a cube using shift after that i think it's too bigger using shift for decrease the size and then decrease the corner and the corner side smooth and added subdivision modifier okay after that okay put it be put it above uh, the shape before okay all right here and after that click the edit mesh edit mesh using loop cut using loop cut here make it seems like the body that not have a corner just make like this it's literally easy and then align it to the center of the battle oh, to the center of the battle okay i think it was centered and then after that we i will use added mesh and for the vertex using vertex tool that is v i will increase just like this okay and then after that like this and then you can change the color you can change the color to be a little back so it was done so it, you can add some of realistic texture like oh i i think i have a file so this is our file this is and this is what i have made before so if you want to add some texture you can uh, get programs from this file so th this is the uh, the battle that I have add some of shadow shadow and realistic texture right here so this is the battle you can see you can see it uh, after I will make the tutorial to how to make the realist realistic texture like this so maybe that's all for me thank you for your nice attention I'm Professor Lundgren see you next time